This is an artery. Inside it is sugar. Sugar fuels every cell of the body, including cancer cells. It fuels every cell. And regardless of your diet, whether you eat pure blubber and you're an Eskimo, whether you're a muscle head eating protein powder by the can, whether you're on a health food diet, or whether you're only consuming water, in health, your blood sugar levels stay within very tight parameters. You always have blood sugar. You cannot reduce sugars in order to get rid of cancer because it wouldn't work. You must have blood sugar or you die. Your brain needs sugar, your liver needs sugar, your muscles need sugar. Every cell of the body is fueled by sugar. If you were to try to get rid of the sugar, A, you would die. But if you were to try to get rid of the sugar in an effort to get rid of the cancer, you would be getting rid of yourself long before you got rid of the cancer cells. That won't work. You can't actually lower the sugar because even if you eat only vegetables or only water, you then just start converting your own fat into sugar. But everybody knows somebody with cancer, right? Who got it from eating fruit? Everybody knows somebody with diabetes, right? Who got it from eating fruit? Everybody knows somebody with candida, right? Who got it from eating fruit? No. If I said to you, if you get sunburn, don't eat fruit, would you laugh? The cure for sunburn is to don't eat fruit. You laugh. That's silly. Fruit can cause the sunburn. Therefore, it cannot eat. It can't be pure. And yet people with cancer are told don't eat fruit as if fruit was the cause of their cancer? Folks, we've got to start looking at some serious contradictions in what we do and what we believe and what we know. Because we're not adding up and making sense. We're taking things that absolutely are more than far reaches and trying to pin our health on it. Initiating lockdown sequence.